Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We're jumping in this time as the Custodian, an interesting little character. With this dude, we get to basically gain movement speed as we hit things and we get to use our broom to smack things around. It seems kind of interesting and then we can trash out to fly towards enemies. We've got this flow ability where we can gain armor on a double jump, cooldown reduction, but we'll lose our stacks of groove. And we also have this mid unit that we can send for extra damage. It seems pretty interesting. I like the idea behind it. We're just going to jump into a regular old run. Now I will say I've had to uninstall a few mods. Um, a few have been depreciated. Mainly uh, one of the more important ones is the better UI. Um, and then a few others as well, but also a few others because there was an update to the game and it was causing the uh, the game to crash on booting up. But we've not lost a lot. It's not too many, so it shouldn't make a massive difference. But if we do see some weirdness here and there, it'll be just because of that. What is this level? Is this is this vanilla? I've literally yeah. This is this is new. Verdant Falls. This is. I'm I'm fairly sure. Oh, this is cool. I like... Oh, I already love this guy. The movement speed is awesome. Um, Verdant... Yeah, Verdant Falls, I swear this is the one that got added in the most recent update. And there's a Gup on floor one. What's going on here? Also, why does it have such low gravity? Okay, so I can do that to smack. Um, I can use this to make sure I can't lose or gain my groove stacks. Oh, I kind of love this character. Is that like low gravity or not something? What's going on with these guys? Uh, and then we've got our maid bot here, which is going out and doing some stuff. Okay, that's just like a single attack. I like this ability where I can strike at enemies. It seems like it's got a few charges to it too, which is really nice. And that's got a bit of piercing to it too as well. Okay, so I think, I think when we hit things, we apply weightlessness to them. I think that's what's going on here. So we apply low gravity when we hit things, which is kind of an interesting concept for a character, to be honest. Anyways, let's go try and move around and find some, uh, find some, I really like the idea behind, um, behind us hitting things, granting us stacks of movement speed. I think this character with additional movement speed on top could be pretty insane. But this is, this is a really interesting level here. Uh, can I go down there? I can't tell. Let's find out. No, I cannot. <laughs> it was worth finding out. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool that, like, when I hit things, they just kind of float away. Okay, that seems like something we want to be using on a big crowd of enemies rather than single enemies. But this has got some real wombo combo type feels to it here. So we use this and then we can... Uh... I kind of need to get a better idea of... of uh when to use my other ability here, uh, this one. Four seconds for each stack of groove, gain armor, double jump, cooldown reduction, you're unable to gain. Okay, so basically that's just that's just for us building out armor, I think. We need to be careful, let me set on fire a little bit here. So once I have a good amount of stacks of groove, I can use that so that I um, it lasts longer. Price it dagger here. So we've got zero stacks of groove now. We go up, we get four stacks of groove. And then we do that one there. And we gain armor on hit. I like the little music we got going on. Um, obviously a bit of crit seems good here. Our attack speed is pretty rapid. So I think crit's gonna be really good for us here, actually. I like it. The gup. I like the fact we got some first floor gups, so that's not regular. That's not normal, but it's only like the, the smallest version of the go. This level's really cool. Now, I'm not seeing many chests about, is the only thing. Okay, we got one up there, but that's a 3D printer by the looks of it. Where are we looking here? Lamarian, I'm sure I'll let you chill for now. I imagine if I make my way up here, this is where I'm going to find my, uh, my Luna Pod thing. If I can make my way up there, but I don't think I can with this character right now. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that was a complete whiff on that. So I've got 10 stacks and I pop this and am I gaining armor? I don't think I am. But I'm not quite sure what it is about the gaining armor thing there. 
I'm not getting a double jump either. I'm a bit confused about that ability. Still, though, the, the, the baseline abilities seem pretty good. Um, we got a chest down here. Lovely stuff. But yeah, I apologize that it's been a little bit longer than normal between my Risk of Rain episodes. The update uh, came out right when I went to record last and things weren't working, so I just decided to leave it a little bit. Distract enemies or attach it to enemies to divert their attention. That's kind of useful, especially on bosses. We've kind of used that before, I think. Nice. Extra damage. Lovely. We do have to be careful because at low health it will break. There's that. Repulsion armor? No. Increase one-shot protection. While not uber useful, it's pretty good. We'll take the roller pennies because early on roller pennies is pretty amazing. I want some more on-hit effects because we hit a lot. I really like the weightlessness that we get going on when we do all of this. Feels very good. I should have left that fire one alive a little longer, to be honest. Rent some money. That's very nice. We got much else here? Much other chests? I don't actually, I've not actually seen my teleporter yet either, which is kind of concerning. I like the music here as well. The music's kind of nice. Okay, cool. Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, that's just a, such a funny mechanic. I really like it. It's weird. I, like strike enemies and slam them into the ground. I think later on our little maid bot is going to be more useful than it is right now. I think right now it's not very good for us because... Um, just because it doesn't make a lot of sense to use because we're not got big groups of enemies. Right, where is our teleporter? There it is. Did we check around here for chest? Ooh, we did find a shrine of the mountain. Rather nice. I like the way it slams him into the ground when you use that ability as well. It's pretty cool. I do. I am curious how we're going to fare against the boss here. And if it's going to make the boss float as well. That's something I'm very curious about because that would be quite funny. Right, so Stone Titan. Right. Okay, it does indeed make them float, which is pretty funny. We're doing a pretty good job, to be honest. I mean, keeping the, the bosses in the air is pretty good. I'm also noticing that I can I can actually return to my maid bot by pressing the button, and that seems to do quite a bit of damage. That was, that was pretty awesome. What was that second item we gained there? Increase attack speed near teleporter. I mean, that's reasonably useful, isn't it? And we can go straight on through here. That was that was a pretty good boss fight. This guy seems pretty strong overall so far. I am definitely down to clown with a strong custodian boy. And we've come, we're coming here with a good amount of money as well. Unfortunately, we can't use our dash ability unless there's an enemy in sight. Which means that we can't actually use it as a movement ability. Which is kind of okay considering we do basically have good movement abilities anyways. Can we afford this bad boy? Probably not, right? Oh, we can. Wow, okay. We will take that. Feels have no cooldown for killing an elite. Very, very nice. And we'll take a few ukes, I think. Good stuff. Okay. Very, very happy with that thus far. Um, can't remember what the backpack does. But we can't afford to grab that anyways. But reasonably good grab here. We could go and do the uh, the little challenge down there. I mean, it would be, it'd be reasonably useful for us to do so right now. Um, I think I'm going to give it a go, especially with our setup that we've got right now with the donkey and stuff. Ah, oh, I lost it. I, I kind of forgot I had that. But yeah, the, the, the little musical donkey thing we've got going on here seems pretty useful. Hey, little crab friend. The portal. It's, it, it, this guy is comically slow when you're not hitting things, though. It's kind of funny. But I'm, I'm a little worried about that, just because moving, moving around between the areas, the enemies die, of course. So moving between... What are these? I've not actually noticed these before. I sh are they void items? I should have had a look into those prior. I think that's what we need to spend the void coins on that we've been grabbing before. I've not really paid attention to them yet. Okay, so we got these, which is unfortunate, because these enemies are pretty annoying. There's a lot of them, too.
So yeah, I can do that look. That's that's what that's meant to do, really. But I want to be I want to be throwing down my little donkey here and having it distract. While I, it's actually honestly, this donkey might be kind of amazing for us because it seems to last a reasonable amount of time, and we can um, we can essentially complete most of this while they're distracted by the the donkey thing. So we might be able to save ourselves a lot of time here. I like the ability, the, the, the sort of smashing into enemies ability, this one, the right click ability, and on the uh, killing elites thing. I think that's going to be really good. Um, what's going on? Why is it at 99 but not ending? I'm a bit, I might die here, I'm a bit confused what's going on. Um, I, uh, I think I'm going to die. I, I, I don't know what's just happened. Yeah, I'm dead. What, 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 what exactly happened there? Okay, well, we'll, we'll run that back, but I'm, I'm a little confused what happened there. Because that might be something to do with the mods being broken. Right now, that might be something to do with the mods not not doing what they should, because that that's definitely not how that's meant to work, is it? That's unfortunate, because we had a pretty good build going on there, but at least I know for next time to not go into there for a little bit. But I don't know, what, don't know exactly what happened there. That was a shame. Regenerative scrap, it's pretty good. I love that ability. That ability is so nice. But goddamn, I'm missing my items already. Where's that other chest? Am I seeing which from up here? Not really so far. There's a chest over there, though. And that is a utility big box chest as well, so we might get a good movement ability out of that. I see you trying to shoot me. Oh, you actually hit me. Well, good for you, sir. Again, permanent armor on kill. Very nice. Seems like a good one to get early. Okay. So if I want to use this properly, I do that. Yes, there you go. Okay, so the, the, the mid droid is a bit better than I thought it was. The initial damage from shooting through targets isn't actually the main, the main amount of damage that you'll be doing with it for the most part. Hmm. Unfortunately, not seen a ton of chests yet. There's a void item there, that's rather nice to see. God damn, we can kill so quick with that combo. We can build up the movement speed and make our way over towards chests. Grab this. There's our unstable black holes, I like it. That's pretty cool. I like the idea behind that. Seems fun to me. Okay, I've got a chest down here. We do have a Chan Shrine here, but I'm a little dubious of using this early on. Deliver each. Oh, yes. Sprint speed is amazing. Getting some base level movement speed to offset us. We also got... we get here? Touching enemy makes it vulnerable to your next attack. Okay, that's also kind of good. And then our teleporter events normally sitting somewhere around here. So let's go and uh, check through this door. Yes, it's always through that door. I don't know why, but it, like, it feels like it always is. Right, we've got one more chance shrine. We should try and garner up some uh, some extra money before we go for that, I think. Oh, man. If I can get more charges on that ability, I'll be very happy. It seems to recharge pretty quick, to be fair. But I'd love to be able to just use it more often. Okay, here's some more enemies. Oh, there's an invisible guy there that I didn't see. I love the way it makes the bodies fly up as well. Beautiful. Another one of you. Right, do we gain attack speed from this as well when we gain movement speed? I think we do. Feels like my attacks are faster. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a lot of them. And this touching enemies to make them vulnerable to our attacks thing is pretty cool. 
fucking liking that. I wish I could see how much armor I have. At the minute, I don't think I can. Okay, nice. Beautiful stuff. Uh, that's a turret, not a chest. There should be a, an item that just makes the turrets always like teleport to you, because the turrets are goddamn useless most of the time. Right. Let's do this chant shrine, and then we'll be on our way, I think. Portion damage taken is distributed. Ooh, ATG missile launcher as well. We like it. Okay. Let's go do the boss. We'll also grab our lunar thing that's normally back here. It can move on this stage, I think. Oh, I didn't expect that there either. Uh, honestly, War Banner, not bad early on. Is it over here still? No. Okay, I didn't get one on this stage, but maybe then. Okay. Oh, that's, that's an amazing ability. Get one of those portals. We can do some insane damage. Amazing stuff. And we get a war toaster. Is it meant to be a pit boy, that? The old war stealth kit? I've never noticed. Right. Let's go. Okay. This time, we know not to go to that other area, because I don't know if it's broken or if that was just something weird, like some weird interaction. But I'm going to assume for now that it's broken. Right, remember that we do have the um, regenerative scrap for, for green 3D printers. Kind of decent. Do you like that ability to move around there. Unfortunately, for a little while, we probably won't get many green 3D printers anyways. So it's not going to be super relevant for a little bit. And black holes are so cool. Visually, they just look really nice. You're already flying, but what if I make you fly even more? This touching enemies to weaken them item is really good for this character, to be honest. Haha! You're scurrying around, but you can't scurry when you're in midair. More fool you. Let me finish them all off with that. Oh, this is. This guy's got some Wombo combos. It's beautiful. Um, I think this is less fall damage, which is probably good for us. Yes. We'll go around and find the real chests first, I think. Beautiful. Oh, we got an essence. Increased crit damage and crit chance. Very nice. Kind of rare. The rarity when you get an elite and kill one, you get something from them. But it can happen. <laughs> Having a trouble jumping up this. Power elixir is actually kind of nice. It's a little bit of backup just in case things go wrong. Put it there. There's our teleporter down there. Let's see a chest over that way. Sadly, no enemies to help us traverse over there. Lots and lots of Chan Shrines right now. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a lot of chests down here, actually. Wow. I see you, Mr. Invisible. Whoa! I launched him off the map. That's hilarious. There's another invisible one right here. Do you know what? Missile launch at him. Beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. The movement speed we're getting right now is lovely. Guillotine's also really nice. An item that I kind of underrate a little bit. You get a f if you get, like, three of them stacked up, it becomes very, like, very, very good. Honestly, this, this black hole thing is going to be so good. Especially if we can proc it even more often. 
Right, I think we're at the point now where we can start opening up our uh, Chan Shrine, so let's start doing that, shall we? Uh, grants a buff um, that grants armor and healing on item pickup. Nice. Bow. There's a lot of invisible guys at the moment. We get another one of these. Moving in a straight line rapidly builds up speed. Nah, I want damage. I want something that can that can output some real some real hurt. On furs. Let's go back to the other chance shrine. Ooh, the thick fog's coming in. What's this here? Is that an invisible chest? At least it's outlined for us. Oh no, it's just a regular chest that I didn't see. Rapidly heal outside of danger. Again, not bad for us. Not bad at all. I'll check out the Lunar Pod just in case it's something good. What the fuck is that? Rechargeable shield by attacking enemies, but replace a portion of your health with shield that cannot recharge naturally. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about that. Could be good, could be awful. Bungus. We don't really care much for Bungus. And what's this? Oh, Jenna. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. Higher crit chance and crits giving us money seems real good. Oh, two of the same thing. Double increase health regen, not bad at all. I know we've got a bunch of armor right now, so it's not ideal. Let a little look, see what we can do here. Okay, so teleport is right here. Let's just go for it, I think. Unfortunately, I don't think my missile launcher hit at all there. I'm clearly seeing quite a lot of crits here, though, which is very nice to see. Did you just heal? I might die here. I don't really know what just happened. That was close. Ooh, Will of the Wisp, I like it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of crits right now. I don't know what my crit chance is at right now, but it seems good. I'm gonna get out of here before that big snake thing kills me. I think rightfully so, because it seems like it might. Good, good, we're out. Okay, rally point. Good, good. A little bit overcast. We do have a void seed area over there. Let's see if we can clear that out first. A lot of void enemies here. Oh my god, that black hole was very timely. That black hole was very timely. Kind of getting shit on a little bit. Not gonna lie. This this whole this whole portion of our health turning to thingy is not not amazing right now. Did you just really dodge out? Did you just really dodge out the way of that? here. We're going to be rich as hell. One void monster left, apparently. There he is. All good. Oh, 
Oh, sh sugar tits. That did way more damage to me than I was expecting. There's nothing prioritized. Cannot consume last night. Corrupt all broken items. Oh, does that mean I get one, th three? Ooh. Ooh, I've become void. We've got the aspects of void here. Interesting. I like it. Plasma Shrimp. While you have Shield, Fire, and Missile on every hit. Okay, that's pretty goddamn good for us, considering the circumstances. What does this actually do when I use it? Okay, it doesn't do anything. It just takes my slot. Cool, I'm, I'm voided there. I'm down with this. This is weird. But yeah, three, 3D printers, like common 3D printers, I think I can use like once for free every floor. It's pretty good. Nice. Okay, this 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 old little shrimpy thing here is gonna be pretty goddamn good with our setup right now. I like it. Just in general, a very interesting run for us right now. An aspect up there, I want it. Wait, what? I'm, I'm so confused. Ah, I see. They're trading this. It's like, oh, I can only have one of them. Very confusing for me for a moment there. I want that one. All right, is there any more chests to grab? Not really. Okay, extra movement speed as a base. There's a gold shrine over there as well. We could go with with a bit of Aurelia. Teleport's just down there. How much is it going to cost? We should have enough, shouldn't we? Yeah, by a mile. Good little bit of Aurelia. Why not? Okay. There's a lot going on here right now, but we are kind of doing, oh my god, quite a bit of damage. Holy. Chill out, my guys. Okay. This is an interesting build. I'm very, 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 very much like it. Now, I'd prefer if I didn't get smushed here. I think the higher up I manage to get them, the more damage it does in slamming them. I want to be doing that as much as possible. But these, these crits giving us money. And money is no longer a concern. So we've got four of them so far. Well, there's a really it. See you there, fella. I'm gonna ignore you for now. One more to grab. I don't think I have enough money actually right now. One second. I should have enough money now. Right, there you go. 
I've got a limited amount of time to do as much damage as possible here. Although, unfortunately, didn't do a whole hell of a lot here. Actually, not been too bad. Not been too bad. I was expecting that to be worse. A feeling she's going to cut us off. Nope, we're good, we're good. Can I use these? Oh, both my little dudes are void touched as well. I didn't realize. That's pretty cool. Right. Thank you for the seed. Unfortunately, I thought I used something that was chests here, but apparently not. Either way, we're good to go. That was not too hard at all for us. All right, now now it's just the uh, destruction of seeds. I've already seen a few. Oh my lord, I can absolutely smash some things. Oh, hello. I was not expecting to see you here. I have been hit very hard so far. I ought to be a bit more careful. Taking some fat damage right now. That. After being hit twice, receive a huge flat damage reduction from all attacks. That sounds very good right now. Why would you get in that guy? Why can't you just stay out of it? Dude, that guy and his balls, man. That guy's got dangerous balls. Not a fan of his balls. Right, show me where the eggs are. I'm missing some eggs. Because there's a teleport, that's good to know. Normally they're up high, aren't they? So I'll have to go searching around. Don't know what that is. I'll give it a go. Chance on hits drop stars. Stars he picks up to increase attack speed. Ooh, that's helpful. I like extra attack speed very much, sir. More egg. Infusion. Great defensive item for us, finally. Not got a whole lot of defense right now. I'd like more things to do with our shield so we can actually regen shield a bit better because right now our only way to regen it is by hitting enemies, which is a wee bit dangerous. Obviously. No eggs in here. It's kind of annoying that these little, these little uh, mushrooms look very similar to the eggs. There's some more eggs there. I see them. I'm going to check up here first. I think Backup Magazine allows us to have more of our dash ability. Yeah, looks like it does. Right, there you go. time for you to die. I hope. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we do actually pretty good damage to get it going, but it's just not always the case that we can get it going super easily. You can see my, like, once my, I get my attack speed going and stuff. Oh, stay out of the way of that. Pretty easy. Once I get my attack speed going and stuff, like my armor basically never, uh, my shield, sorry, just basically never goes down. It's kind of hard to look at. <laughs> it's like hard to work out what the hell's going on. And that void seed cleared itself, by the way. There was a void seed at one point. There you go. What we got? Gain a recharging shield. Your turtle shield recharge. Um. Doubles your total shield, shield recharge sooner. Okay, that's pretty goddamn amazing. Now, the only thing I'm looking at here is I don't actually know if my shield's working the same way while I have this active item enabled. I'm going to have to switch it out and see.
I didn't actually look at what my health was before I picked that up, so I'm not entirely sure. Good old Duke. Ah, we got another one of those from this thing that we actually got it from. I'll actually take that, to be honest. I need another active item to test this. Anyways, we, we know where our teleporter is. Up the top of here. We do look amazing like this, though. I like it. See if I can get, like, a thumbnail shot of my guy. I need to take damage so I get rid of the shield for a second. Bustling fungus, why? I kind of need to get rid of the shield. Do you want to hit me so I get rid of the shield? No. There you go. I've got it. I got the thumbnail shot. <laughs> right, back up here. Was it up here? I thought it was up here. Now I'm a bit lost. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's down this way, isn't it? And through here. I remember now. Yes, I'm not exactly sure if that did double our shields or not. It probably did. I'm going to bet that it did. Oh, I was like, what the fuck's that? It's just Aurelia. The thing that I got earlier, remember? I completely forgot that I got that. Really, he's doing some mad shit right now. Are you okay there, Magma Worm? Need to have run away a little bit. We got a... That we did. Hey, a band. Nice. I liketh the bands. Yeah, I kind of forgot that's how Aurelia works. Thank you for helping me, though, you big golden beauty. Ooh, Sky Meadow Knight looks amazing. Another ally worship unit over there. Another void seed to clear. Not a problem. Easy to clear these out, actually. Oh, do not, yeah, do not be in that radius, please. Hey guys, what are you doing? Dying. Nice. Good view. Right, we're pretty much in the home stretch now, so we can kind of get heading off. God damn, you see how much damage. That's just a floating chest there. No! <laughs> hey, the item came down with us. Amazing. Void seeds complete, lovely. And a storm's approaching. Beautiful. While shielded, gain temporary boost in armor. Dude, this we're getting some good stuff while shielded right now. We really are. Did not mean to take quite this much damage. But luckily, smacking things should help. Attacking bosses increases attack speed. Okay, that's kind of an interesting idea. I'm not sure which would, which would be better there. Right. Look for our teleport. I don't want to stick around here too long. Do I see any sparkles anywhere? I don't think I do, actually. Sure, I need that Luna coin. <laughs> to add to my 2 million, how 2 billion, however many I have. Where 
Ah, you little teleporter. Get up high, it might be up high. What, 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 what's this? Ah, oh, I do not have a drone. I do not have a drone to give. Oh, well, actually, apparently I do. Did I buy a drone at some point? Okay, maybe I did. Either way, let's keep moving them. Keep running. I am yet to see my teleporter, which is slightly annoying. Especially when the stage is kind of like, giving up. <laughs> Rubber. Fuel cell? I guess actually doesn't matter. I don't even know why I talked about it. I should test something. So if I grab whatever this is. I don't think it has changed my armor at all, you know. I think my armor is doubled. Right, where the hell are you, little teleporter? Where the hell are you? Can he find you? Gotta be over here, right? Probably because we haven't been. Oh, can I? <laughs> I can target the rocks. Which are? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Zoom me towards the rocks. I don't see it anywhere around here, though. Is it like way below? I don't know if it could spawn below. Slightly perplexed. What's the lockbox? Thank you. More crit chance. I guess I'll go below and see. That's the only place I can think it'd be now. Well, that's our fuel cell just in case we wanted it for any reason. Thank you. We're going to have another charge of our active that is unusable. No, it doesn't seem to be here. This is confusing. This is one one thing that Rescreen does that I really think could do with a massive improvement. I get that it's part of the charm of the game to like sort of have to search around and find it. But I think if you're if you're on a stage for any more than a certain amount of time, it should just be like, yeah, I get it. It's taking too long. Here's a ping. Here's where it is. This is a bit ridiculous. I have, I have absolutely no idea right now. I feel like I've looked most everywhere. This character. This character slams. We like it. Where art thou? Where haven't I checked? It's the highest point on the map. Pretty much, at least. There it is. Like, apparently I can't launch at these guys for some reason. Yeah, these guys can't be launched at. The absolute fuck is this? Oh, I think I thought this before, actually, yeah. This is visually quite something. I can't make these fly, unfortunately, which I was hoping would happen. I think we're okay sitting in here. Seems like it. I was really hoping they'd start flying up, but sadly, these boys are locked to the ground. So we got a, no, a void portal. And we got this. We'll go through here first, I think. 
We're gonna go for monolith ending. I think monolith ending's always my favorite, so. Let's just go for it. And we have quite, quite a heavy chunk of change to buy some things here. I can only buy one of those, unfortunately. Two of those. There's a sword there. I think I'm okay for the sword, though. Thank you. Right, let's go. Got some good lighting here, actually. I could, I could maybe use this for the thumbnail. Nice. Enter the blue portal. Oh, I just took damage right. I was hoping I could get it just before I hit. Right, Titanic Plains. Beautiful. One of these worm things again. Multiple of these worm things again, actually. Right, this is this is very much a rush to the teleporter. We are very much powerful enough to get things done, so let's just see if we can see where we're going here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why have we got so many floating chests at the moment? This one's also floating. This item's just going to yeet itself off the map, isn't it? Okay, no. Luckily it didn't. I was really expecting it would. That's a voided vagrant there. Is the teleporter going to be inside the void seed? It is, isn't it? It very much is. Lovely. I'm just going to activate it and then move out of the radius. <laughs> Look at her go! Oh, the amount of healing I'm getting from all the crits here is wild. The amount of shield I have as well is, is ludicrous. Beautiful. Discover an essence at the start of each stage. Decent. Right. To the next area. This area looks pretty good in the singularity as well. Wow. Right. Again, we're on the search straight away for... Ooh, there we go. Discover an essence right off the bat. Attack speed. Nice. We're on the search straight away for our teleporter, so let's have a little look, see where we can find it. Normally, it's on this little plane here. I, I, I always seem to find it there. Hey, guys. Just gonna leave you all to it. There it is, right here. We've managed to craft an incredibly beautiful run right now. Let's not stay in the void seat for too long, shall we? How many of these we got? We've got three. Oh my god, these guys flying is kind of hilarious too. Look at them go. These guys were never meant to be so high in the air. Okay. It is keep the the, the uh, black hole is keeping them somewhat grounded. And last stage. Let's go. Really? Oh, I was hoping it teleport while I was mid-air. Apparently it couldn't do it. Couldn't or didn't want it to. More attack speed. I love this area. Have we got an eye on the teleporter straight away? I don't think we do. Probably underwater. It's quite often underwater in this stage. Ooh, the water's so clear in this uh, version of the stage though. Really nice. I don't think it is underwater, unless I've just somehow missed it. I think I've just missed it. There, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Good to go. Ooh, the scavenger. Hello. Don't see you too often. Is it just the one scavenger? I think it is, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely launched. Dude, the scavenger has so much HP. 
Holy shit. My goodness. Oh, he is healing a lot. Whatever items he has right now, they are keeping him quite chunky right now. I'm sure they keep slowly but surely rising him into the air until I do a massive slam. 4,000 damage on that slam. This isn't actually a lot compared to his health bar. Okay, now he's taking some damage. Those black holes. Those black holes are really what beefs up our damage. Just keep rising him up. With the attack speed, we can literally keep up with him. Outside of the water, and then we slam him down. Boom. That's so satisfying. He's gone invisible. I think that's because I did big damage to him, and he's got old washed health kit. Right, beautiful. The less heal portal, there you go. That was an amazing run. This character is a lot of fun. Pretty wild. A bit of a weird one. And definitely, I'd say, quite powerful for a melee character. But overall, quite fun. Um, good, good, good. We sped through that as well. It was a pretty quick run. We are, unfortunately, bound to... Oh, I missed the jump. Bye-bye. We'll teleport back up there soon enough. There you go. Oh, another essence. More attack speed. Whereabouts am I going now? There you go. Yeah, we are unfortunately going to have to manually run this, which is something that I'm not very used to. Normally, I just use movement speed to basically cheat my way across, of, across it. But we don't actually have really any movement speed at all. Oh, my lord. That was kind of close. I did actually manage to land on that tiny little piece there. It's a really interesting idea, this, to be fair, for how, like, you navigate a stage. No! I'm going to have to redo it all again. How dare you, game? It's the, the, the falling animation as well, like, the falling distance before you respawn is so unbelievably long, too. <laughs> it's quite the punishment for falling. But this is this might take a few attempts. I'm prepared to say this might not be super quick. But now that we've uh, now we've actually got our rocks discovered in certain areas, we can slightly shortcut the jumps. Right. Slowly, slowly. There you go. Right. We've we've done it. We've done it. I thought it was actually gonna take more attempts than that. We're good. Awesome. A nice celestial ending to our beautiful custodian run. I am sure. Decimate me. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I will... Oh my god, most damage dealt. Whoa! That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys did enjoy that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.